Hi everybody, Cheaply Chic, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a few different paper ephemera packs that are going to be in my shop with the release of the July Breathe collection tomorrow, Friday, June 29th at noon, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is when these collections will be available. I just wanted to share them ahead of time for those who are part of my channel who might be interested in what they contain when they head over to my Etsy shop and purchase the Breathe Collection, which I'm so excited that so many of you are excited for too. So let me get into these ephemera packs so that you can have an idea of what will be in them. This is a 26 piece package okay I'm packaging them in this brown paper sack so really it's 27 pieces because I think this is a fantastic little paper sack that I would love to use in my journal as well what makes this stand apart from the other ephemera pack that will be in there are these watercolor ship images this is a full size piece of paper it measures just shy of 11 inches by eight. So it's a big watercolor image of a ship. And this came out of a book from 1945. And there were, I have 10 of them all together. So there are 10 of these paper collections. I'm not exactly sure how you would use this, but I think they are so beautiful. They're printed on a nice paper. And it tells you here on the back what the ship is. They are all different, so this might not be the particular ship that you get, but they are all beautiful. So this book page is in this set. I'll start from the smaller items here. There's another one of these glassine bags. This measures three by six. I love using these in my journals, so there's one of those. There's an old seashell playing card in either blue or pink. There's an old Rolodex card. Two price tags a little anchor sticker that looks like a wax seal. There's a red cabbage dyed index card. There's a guest check. There's a coloring postcard. These are all going to be different images, but it's a postcard that you can color that has a nautical feel to it. This one just happens to be a fish. There's an old flash card, a time card. There are six white tickets one really pretty seashell napkin that would be lots of fun decoupaging. There is one eight and a half by five brown paper bag. This is also in the Breathe journal. There's another one included here. There are more book pages. This comes from a tropical fish field guide book. Of course, yours may be different with different fish images. There is another field guide book page here with text and images a seashell field guide book page, specifically a page with birds from the seashore type area out of that field guide book. This was an interesting book that I had that had a lot of pencil sketches. <laughs> I had it upside down, sorry. It had some sketches of the mainland. I think this was from Maine, and I don't know who this artist was, but I included a book page there. Yours will be a little bit different of course. There's a page from Moby Dick. And now we're getting into some of the book pages. This is from Ships of the Past. And this book is from 1920s. It's from the 1920s. I would have to find the cover. It might be 1929. That's what I'm going to say. And there is a sketch of a ship or a boat of some kind that will be in here and text on the back but I specifically wanted an image of a ship. There is a page of text from that same book and then there is a book page from another from the same book that had the watercolor images. I'm going to put that on the screen here because I can't remember the name of it but there is a text book page from that book. The ships of the past also had some blueprint type images. So this is a long page. It actually measures it actually measures 15 and a half inches wide and it is about 11 and a half inches tall. So it's very big, but I just thought it was so much fun and I wanted to include it. It does smell old, I have to say, but it doesn't smell mildewy. <laughs> so there's that. On the back page, you can see where I removed it from the book but it's just plain on the other side. And then there's just a music sheet. 
included in here as well. So this is a 26 piece ephemera pack. It includes the watercolor and blueprint, which is how I will specifically label it in my Etsy shop. And there will be 10 of these available. The next ephemera pack I'm going to share is a 30 piece set. But actually, if you count, counted each ticket, there is actually 36 pieces if you counted individual tickets and the paper bag that it comes in again because I love that paper bag. But anyway, this is a 30 piece ephemera pack set that goes along with the collection. Again, there is an anchor sticker that looks like a seal, two price tags, that same glassine bag that I love. There are two old Rolodex cards. This is a fun game piece that I had and it has a lot of the pieces of the ocean so I thought that was fun and I threw that in there. A red cabbage dyed index card. There are two layaway tag pieces of ephemera in here. Two guest checks. One old flash card. There are a couple napkins in here that I thought would be fun for decoupage. So there's this giant octopus on there. There's this napkin with a seahorse, and then you could use parts of these starfish and pieces of coral. There's a white time card. And then getting into some of the book pages, there are two pages out of that Tropical Fish Field Guidebook, two pages from Moby Dick. There's a page from another field guidebook, half of a sheet that measures... It measures five and a half by eight and a half, and this is my heart dyed paper that I've done some ink spray on with blue and green, and just a really pretty. Well, there's another page from that field guide book. There are two field guide seashell book pages. Again, there's a ship of ships of the past book page that would be a lot of fun to use. There is a book page from that same ships of the past book. I'm getting all tongue tied here that have different images that I thought would be fun that you might include in your journaling. There is a book page that includes an image of some kind of ship or boat. There's an extra piece of blue dyed paper. This is the red cabbage paper. There's a sheet of music and then the six white tickets all included in this brown paper sack. So again, this ephemera pack has 30 pieces and there are 30 of them in my shop, so there should be plenty. And then there's one more ephemera pack. This one is 15 pieces, so it's half of the other one. And in this pack, there's the gold starfish napkin for decoupage, another red cabbage dyed index card. There's a guest check a layaway tag, a white time card, an old Rolodex card, two price tags, six white tickets, that same anchor sticker that looks like a wax seal, one tropical fish field guide book, page, two more pages from that newer field guide book. This actually comes out of that seashell field guide book. I don't know, there's a squid in there. They must have shells of some kind. I don't know, anyway. These things are so fascinating to look at as I'm taking the books apart and using them. These field guides are just amazing. I had no idea how much I would love those. There's a Moby Dick book page, another half sheet of that ink sprayed heart paper, and a sheet of music and the brown paper bag. So currently these are the three different types of ephemera packs that you can purchase along with the Breathe Collection or separately. You don't have to purchase them together, obviously, but they will be in my Etsy shop on Friday. And then you guys, I have this little mermaid junk journal that I have made that I'm going to have up in my shop as well. I actually made this quite a while ago. I had two of them in my shop originally and then I took it out thinking I was going to give it away for a gift and I didn't. I ended up doing something else. So I thought this would be the perfect time to put it back in the shop for anyone who might be interested. This is a single signature journal. It's made out of an envelope. So it's a soft cover here. On the front it has that 
same mermaid girl she stamped onto a piece of fabric. There's some sparkly blue paper here in the back. It's on some seahorse paper here. There's some gold paper that kind of looks like fish scales. Some orange burlap. There's some burlap ribbon that wraps around the cover. And then it just has this piece of orange burlap here in the front. Has some eyelets with some blue dyed seam binding here and I've stitched around the cover. I will put the number of pages that are in this journal in the description. I'll probably post it on this video and you're like, yeah, I'm reading it right now, but it'll be in the description of the auction. <laughs> so here in the front, there's just a little envelope. There is a lot of stamping in this book of seahorses and mermaids. Here on the front is a pocket. There's lots of ephemera clipped throughout. There's lots of little journaling tags that have been dyed, that have been tea stained and coffee stained and paper punched here throughout the book. I've used a lot of gold metallic thread. And then here's some of the stamping. There's some tracing paper in here. There's a piece of blue vellum, some dictionary paper, a little place where you could write or add some photos, a few fabric tabs throughout. I'll try to flip through this kind of quick so this video doesn't take forever. There's some vintage ledger in here, a couple of tuck spots with some ephemera, another one of those coloring postcards, glassine bag with a tag, Love this stamp set. A little tuck spot here. And then here's the center of the signature. There's a double tuck spot with some papers. There's a bookmark in this journal and it has a little seahorse bead with some blue beads there. There's some blue hearts here in the center of the signature. Lots of stamping. Here I, when I dried this paper, I had an old key and a lock, a little lock laying under there. So there's an imprint on there. I thought that was fun. Here is a little flip out with a pocket and a tag. Here's a little tuck spot here. And I used an old doily piece with some trim. Another little pocket with a little postcard. The other side of that glassine bag. Journaling card attached here. And this is a little tuck spot and that flips up and it's lined with some coffee dyed paper. Another little tab on that dictionary page the vellum. Two more tucks. This one has a little palm tree <laughs> punch out there. Tracing paper and that's it. That's the back of the book. So this will also be up in my shop as well. And that's it you guys. That's it for this video. I am hoping to work on a few more things that you might see up in the shop. I don't know if I will get to them or if I will film them, that all depends. It's actually my birthday week. My birthday is on Thursday. And as I film this video, I am <laughs> currently making lots of plans with friends and family. So we will see how much I actually get done. But for certain, these items will be available in my shop as well. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for being part of what I'm doing with these journal collections. You guys are just so amazing. Just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Again, be on the lookout tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time for the official release of the July Breathe Collection. That video will be up and my listing will be up as well. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope that you're having an awesome week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!